draw uh, the tail, and then you guys can finish off the arms and the other details. And you're really good at pattern making. And maybe you can do something for the, the tail. And the hair. Are you diving? Yeah, I got it. Okay. So this is like the really yeah, nice steak, right? Enjoy. It's really nice. Okay. Where do you want the tail to go? All right. How long should it be? Long as fruits. Okay. This is a much smaller mermaid. Alright, this is the hip. Drawing the tail. Where does the tail stop? Longer. That's good here. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna start the other side, the other side of the hip. Okay. So you guys, maybe we should get you. So, Michael, where did you pick up your tape skills? You know, I have been drawing with tape for 23 years. So, we were so, uh, the drawings, we were right about that very, card. very first ones are, are uh, wonderfully crass. Yeah. You were right about that card. I picked up my drawing. skills from working so with people tour. who are better drawers than really? I am. Really? Yeah. That was right. so, I, uh, I can start naming names if you'd like, but you know, the, the, the big advantage of drawing collaboratively is that you're constantly exposed to different ways of using the tape, and as long as you continue to be modest about your own ability, you can continue to grow and, and hopefully get better at it. Alright, what's left? Get that arm. I'll leave that to you. Yeah, I'm probably going to leave you guys alone at this point. You got an arm, you got a bikini to deal with. So if I were, if I were going to yes. start, since I've not done any tape art, yes. what would you suggest as a simple shape to get started with? You know, would I, you wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest something simple. Okay. I would suggest that you, you draw whatever it is you're actually interested in drawing. So if you say to yourself, oh, you know, I really want to draw an aardvark. Even if you're not entirely sure what an aardvark looks like, but the idea amuses you, that's what you should pursue. And maybe that artwork looks really weird when you're done because you're not, you don't have all the pieces visually to put it together. And I guarantee you the next time you see an artwork, your brain will do this quick checklist of all the things you weren't able to remember or comprehend or visualize. And the next time you draw an artwork, it will be incredible. <laughs> so that's, that's the advantage of drawing things that you're not entirely sure of what they look like. Before we had our, our fancy phones, before these things came along, like our dolphin drawings and our sea urchin drawings, whatever. Uh, if you're drawing like a, a, a tow truck, you'd have all the pieces, the hints of them, and those are really charming drawings. Um, and they really force you to look at the world differently afterwards, because you're looking for information at that point. <laughs> now I see that you've gone with two colors here. Yeah. And that's pretty helpful, I guess, huh? It is. It, it, it's, uh, to be honest, it's, it's, it's strictly utilitarian that there's two colors. Uh, this tape is uh, delightfully perfect for drawing. It's from the Painter's Tape family, but it's, uh, it's an alien cousin, so we can call it drawing tape. And it only comes in these two colors. And we finally got private labeling on it, so we have our own drawing tape. We have tape art tape. And, uh, we're able to sell it at a cutthroat price, which is really, it's exciting for us because we've been asked for tape for decades now. And now we're finally able to provide that. Tapeart.com. It's exciting for us. And how did you get involved in this particular day? In this day, one of our uh, favorite tape art collaborators and someone who worked with us three or four summers in a row is running the arts side of this. So she's been with, she's, she's another tape artist, basically. Uh, He's going up. Helped identify that this was going to be a really good fit. And here we are. Well, I'm so glad. And then does it all have to come down at the end of the day? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And this is, this is a, we see no difference between artwork as professional artists and uh, the collaborative works we see here. 
These are grand monuments to process of a product. Always, always have been, and perhaps they always will be, but the tape lends itself to a degree of spontaneity and freedom that is balanced, balanced by uh, its temporary nature. So we do remove everything we, we personally make within 24 hours of its completion. And I've never once felt even a ping of regret. Uh, they're, they're grand, they're celebrations, really. It's so 4 o'clock, 4.15. We'll, uh, we'll take some photographs because we have to do that professionally. Uh, and then if there are people here, they will absolutely love the removing of it. Because it's really fun to take them down. It's pretty soon. There's this moment of counterintuitiveness, but returning a space to its normal state is a, is a, a, a thrill every time.